Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to provision Active Directory security groups into Office 365 uh, with one login. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First, I'll start at my one login portal. I'll sign in as an administrator and I can go ahead and jump to the administrative portal. From there, I can go ahead and head to applications and add an application. If I add an application, I can go ahead and search for Office 365. And we're going to use our latest Office 365 connector, our Office One Login's Office 365 V2 connector that comes with SAML and provisioning. I already have that added into my account, so I'll go ahead and just search for that connector in my account. Now, once we've added the app connector, we'll go through and configure the application connector. One Login makes it really easy here, where we can just uh, tell One Login what our Office 365 domain that we would like to federate is. So that's going to be our um, uh, Office 365, our main uh, domain that we leverage for things like email, et cetera. And then once we've uh, given that, we can go ahead and give one login the appropriate API connection that we'll need to Office 365. Uh, so we'll verify ourselves with administrative permissions from Office 365. Uh, best practice here is to use a service account to give one login the appropriate permissions here. Once we've set that up, we can go ahead and uh, head to provisioning. We'll turn on provisioning and enable provisioning. You'll notice that I also have uh, turned on the ability to have this automatically happen without any administrative uh, intervention. So as soon as a user is assigned and created in one login to Office 365, uh, they'll automatically be created in O365. And then the last thing we'll do here is refresh our entitlements to make sure we're pulling over all the appropriate Office 365 information and we have our API connection established. Once we've done all of that, we can go ahead and head to parameters here in one login and we can see all the out of the box parameters one login can provision over. Things like licenses, job titles, uh, groups, et cetera. Um, today we're gonna be talking about groups. So go ahead and head to groups and turn on one login's provisioning here. So you can go ahead and check that include in user provisioning flag and we'll save that. And then let's go ahead and try provisioning a user into a group. Now, right now we'll see by default, we're not provisioning users into any default groups, but I have created a rule to be more granular in our provisioning of users. So instead of provisioning our users into a default group, I actually have a rule set up that will provision one provision users into the appropriate O365 group based on their Active Directory security group. So what I'm saying with this, and we have this spelled out in our support article information of provisioning AD and LDAP uh, security groups into third-party applications, you'll be able to see um, the regex format that you'll leverage for this. But essentially what I'm saying here is every security group that exists within my OU container and Active Directory, I wanna go ahead and be able to provision those security groups into Active Directory, into Office 365. So if we head to Active Directory and take a quick look at this, um, we'll actually see that I have several different groups here like sales and teachers and um, even a couple of different just colors as a, uh, that I was using for testing. And let's go ahead and create a user in Active Directory. So I'll go ahead and create a brand new user. Great, and then last thing I'll do for Gregory is give him an email. Okay, great. So just like that, we have Gregory created in Active Directory. If we jump over to one login, we should actually see that Gregory has a one login account created for him now. And just like that, you can see Gregory does have that one login account. If we scroll down, we'll see the Active Directory information that's pulling over for Gregory as well. Now at the moment, he's not, uh, he hasn't been assigned any AD security groups. So we'll notice that Gregory also hasn't been assigned any applications in one login yet. But let's go ahead and fix that. Let's say Gregory is going to be part of several different security groups here. So we can go ahead and assign Gregory to our IT security group as an example. Um, and let's just go ahead and say that Gregory has joined the organization as, as someone in IT. So we've added them to the IT security group. So if we jump back to one login here, we'll see that one login will recognize that IT security group. So based on the fact that we're pulling over the IT security group, 
We have some automation set up to set Gregory with the appropriate applications here. And then one thing we'll notice is we did provision Gregory into Office 365 as well. Now, one thing I want to point out is if we take a look at our O365 instance, we'll notice that uh, we have a number of groups here that exist in uh, Office 365. And these are groups that we've actually pulled from Active Directory. And we'll notice if we jump to Gregory's account here in Office 365, uh, that Gregory has not been assigned to any specific groups yet. Um, and that's fine. We don't have him set up to, but let's go ahead and create a new security group that we'll also send over uh, into Office 365. That'll be part of our East OU with those rules. So let's go ahead and create a new group. We'll call this one green since we have a number of different colors here already. I like to make this unique for testing. So um, I'm sure that the, this security group hasn't already been created in uh, Office 365. So if we jump back to Office 365, we'll notice again that green uh, security group has not been created yet in Office 365. Um, now, if we give this a minute here and we wait for Gregory, uh, we should eventually see those new security groups pull over for one for Gregory. So that shouldn't take us too long. Like if we refresh this page, or actually, excuse me, we created the green security group, but now we need to assign Gregory to that security group. So let's go ahead and assign him to that green security group. Great. And then as well, let's just go ahead and assign him to several other security groups too. So we'll assign them to red. We can assign them to teachers. And maybe we'll assign him to blue too. Okay, great. So now we have uh, Gregory really uh, starting to fill out his Active Directory profile with a number of different AD security groups here. <laughs> If we jump back to one login, we should see those AD security groups sync over. Okay, great. So we now are seeing some of those security groups in that East OU pullover. So things like blue and green, red, etc. And then if we jump back into our Office 365 instance, uh, it'll take a minute, but when we provision the users over, we should also be provisioning some of those groups and we'll create a new group if it doesn't exist. So just like that, you'll see that that green security group has actually been created in one login and it was just created uh, today, same time, same date. So just like that, by creating a user in uh, Active Directory and creating a new security group, um, we're able to create that security group in Office 365 if we take a look at the members here, we'll see Gregory Hinswell is also a member here. So uh, we didn't need to create any complex mappings in one login to do any of this. We just created a single mapping actually in one login that said, hey, all of our security groups that are in this container, go ahead and provision those security groups in Office 365. Um, and users in those groups will be provisioned into Office 365 in those groups in Office 365 as well. So this saves you from having to create a lot of different logical mappings in one login and allows you to use all your pre-existing AD security groups uh, with third-party applications so that you can provision users into matching groups in those third-party applications, Office 365 being one of the major applications to do that with. Thank you all for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.